Hi there, welcome back. Uh, in the previous video, we managed to uh, have a simple connection under the pool model. And we also introduced the concept of dirtiness in the graph in order to avoid unnecessary evaluations. So we had a few tests. One of this is the evaluation count. And we basically fixed this test here, test node connection. And we uncommented this, but it's failing there. So time over. So if I comment this again, run the test, oh, it's good. Cool. So today we are going to fix the persistent connections. So let's uncomment this. It's failing, cool. Let's fix that. So let's talk about the dirtiness. This this flag here is dirty at the node level. So one way to to think about it is in terms of a data flow. So we basically need to propagate this dirtiness through the graph. So think about it as there's a flow going through graphs, connected graphs, uh, connected nodes. And if the node is dirty, the data passing through that node is dirty too, right? So that's pretty much the concept. And looks like we are not propagating that to the next node and that's why this test is not working yet. So let's do that. And in order to do that, I want to upgrade. I want to change this to a property. So we can add some logic each time we change the dirtiness. So let me do that uh, as an attribute like underscore is dirty and define here our property. So this will be equal to a property and the property have a getter that would be equal to a lambda. The first argument is the instance and then we say instance dot underscore is dirty. So we basically return whatever that attribute holds. And for the setter, we're going to define another lambda. First is the instance, second is the value, and we're going to call the method, the instance method set dirty. And we're passing the value there. So that's pretty much it. Now we have to implement this method. So set dirty, this is a value, and we basically want self dot is dirty equals to the value. So if all's good, oh, this should go at the, yeah, at the class level. So this is there. Uh, okay. Cool. So if if all is good, I run the test. We should have exactly the same behavior, and we have it because we have only one failure. So that's good. And the next thing is propagate the dirtiness. So we are going to ask here if if value is true. Well, if value is false, so if not value, you can do it this way, we are going to return, we are done, but if it's true, we need to go through the output port, so for port in self dot output port dot values, because it's a dictionary, and check if the port is connected, right, so if port dot is connected, so if it's connected, 
we need to go to the sources of this port so for src import.sources and we need to set that node dirty so that is source that owner that the node that is dirty equals to true so that should be fine and this should propagate the dirtiness so that's good now we have to use this so another problem has to do with the way we are evaluating so when we get the output of a node and we are in a pool model we basically ask if the node is dirty and if it's dirty we evaluate the node and clear out uh, that's good for one node but when there's connections we need to get the right inputs so we're going to do that just before evaluate um, so we need to go through the input port this time so for port in self that owner that's a node that input ports dot values is a dictionary and um, and we need to test if the port is connected so if port dot is connected and if it's connected we need to go through the sources so for src import dot sources and we basically need to set the value of the port to the value of the source which is basically get the connection working so port dot value will be equal to source dot value the cool thing is the source of an output port is the input of the previous node so when we set this port which is an output port well yeah when when we get the value of a source which is an output port we are basically re repeating this same logic in the previous node so this works uh, recursively through the graph so let me save this try to run this again and all is good we're passing the test so in order to be sure let me assert here just before changing the value one on the node one so we make sure that it's evaluating here and then it has to refresh the entire graph well, not the entire graph, the part of the graph that makes sense. And yeah, it's working. So that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, so let me commit this, save this. So git commit all. And this is a pool model. Uh, we basically did persistent connections done so that's pretty much it for now in the next video we are we are going to work out the branching and the branching persistence so that's for the next see you bye bye